My name is Catherine Vericoli. I'm the owner um, and boss lady, sort of, yeah, here at 513 Recording Studios in Tempe, Arizona. And this is Dominic Armstrong. I'm an engineer at 513. I've been here at the studio for, I think, coming on four years. About four years. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, the studio's been here for almost 11 years. When the time came around for us to, you know, put in a new console, the last thing I wanted was a vintage console. Two reasons. I had fussed with a vintage console for years and years and years. I just wanted things to be a little bit easier, a little bit easier to run. Um, and and I wanted, like, yeah, I don't wanted the workflow to be better. Um, I also wanted the console when I turned it on to do the same thing every time. I had no idea that Rupert Neve was still making gear. Um, I also didn't really know the difference between the new gear he was he was getting into, um, the Neve name, the old Neve stuff, what was the difference. Two consoles were sort of in our price range at that point. The dudes over at Vintage King arranged um, for a few of us to go out and see both consoles uh, in Texas. First stop that we made on our slingshot trip, literally like 14 hours there, one night, 14 hours back, um, was a studio in Wimberley that had just installed a really beautiful 5088 and we showed up and we're kind of Phoenix, dirty Phoenix punks and um, this beautiful studio in Wimberley. Met up for the first time with um, the sort of founders of the company and it was the first time I met Josh. He's like, have you met Rupert yet? And we were all like, no, 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 no it's fine, it's fine, that's fine. We don't, you know, I mean, we, we'd, we'd had a little bit to drink the night before some Lone Stars. You know, it's a good Texas beer. Yeah. Yeah. So, star. um... I'm a Lone Star. Uh, we're all Lone Stars. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so... <laughs> Rupert had been there all day long with, with his with his wife, and, you know, he's not a young man, and we figured he's probably pretty tired, but he came in and talked to us for about 45 minutes about, about the console, about, um how it was built, how it was the console that he's always sort of wanted to make. You know, Rupert does not need to sell his own gear. It's just right. of, any, of anyone. So um, the whole experience with with um, that particular day and all the days since then with the staff um, have been wonderful. So uh, not to mention the console is incredible. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I've never, I had never really, when I put my hands on it, I'd never really felt uh, buttons and faders and things that were so deliberate in their actions. Um, it was just yeah. quality, the way it was built, um, solid, just solid yeah. and deliberate. I, I mean, I've, I've been in the room with tons of other consoles. I've never experienced anything like it, just the way it felt. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, on the way out, the boys were like, yep, we're going to get that one. <laughs>